These are the various seating depths. 2 2.75, 2.760, 2.770, 2.780, and 2.790. The uh, bullet on the left is 10 thousandths into the rifling, and the bullet on the right is seated back so it'll fit in pretty much any gun. You fire five and let the gun cool down for five minutes, and five minutes is an eternity. When you got all this beautiful stuff to shoot, and, and uh, but you got to do it. You got to let the barrel cool because if you end up ramping up the barrel temperature, by the time we get to the the last twenty or the last five, we'll have everything will be all out of whack because of temperature influence. So what do you do? Well, I can zero my caps on my scope. Uh, I can do a little bit of measuring. You know, as far as uh, seeing, you know, if the head space is moved, how far it's moved. Uh, assess my setup here, but really, really try to buy yourself five minutes at least between each run of five. That way you have a relatively similar comparison here. Because what we're trying to do is we're trying to figure out, you know, which one of these seating depths is going to work best. And... We certainly don't want to have a temperature influence on it. So, so I've gone through all of that. It's been about five minutes. I'm going to take it back up again. The, the first batch shot fairly well. Looks like about a half an inch. So the seating depth test has been completed. And there is a winner out there. We're going to go take a look. One of the things I noticed at... Uh, this is right at the rifling, and this is 10 thousandths jam, same powder charge. You can see that the pressure, well, you won't be able to see it in here, you have to take my word for it, but the uh, Creedmoor is getting, beginning to get wiped right off the back of the case. And uh, obvious unnecessary pressure, putting it into the rifling. So, 10 rounds, 10 MOA. Just 500 yards. Now we'll go and then we'll go and check our target. five inches now there's a little plate up there we could have some fun with I got it at shootsteel.com Factory Hornady 120 grainers, they shoot good.
going to go down and take a look at that group. And uh, there's a notification bell on the bottom of the page there. If you hit that, you'll be notified of new videos that I'm going to be doing. Now, just reviewing 2.755 through 2.790, okay? Uh, this is an eight-tenths of an inch. This is the group that I'm going to be going with at 2.760. I did use a comparator on these, so but this is just uh, easy enough for me to record it this way. Four tenths of an inch. Okay, so that's under a half inch. 2.770 was 0 0.6 tenths of an inch. As we started, this is right at the rifling. 1.2 inches right at the rifling. You can see that it started to open up. And here's just a three-shot group with the Hornady Factory 120 grain ELDs, nine tenths of an inch, and ten thousandths jam. It didn't like that. It was kind of starting to smear the back of the case just a little bit. Nothing serious, but 1.3 inches. So 2.760 overall length. That's going to be the way we're going to go with this, and that's a good enough group. To shoot uh, a 150 at uh, Ilian. So, our next bench rest match, I might end up doing that. We're at the 500 yards. Pretty bird in the background.